the Civil War Battle of Antietam is considered the deadliest one-day battle in American military history. The battle occurred on September 17, 1862, 10 months before the Battle of Gettysburg, and after a Union victory at the Battle of South Mountain and a Confederate victory at the Battle of Harper's Ferry. The first invasions of the North are not going as planned, and General Robert E. Lee is hoping to make one last stand to salvage his Maryland campaign. General Lee invaded Maryland and committed his entire force to the battle. He chose a strategic area near Antietam Creek, a mile east of the town of Sharpsburg, Maryland. The creek runs through hilly but open countryside. The water was deep and moved swiftly and could only be crossed at three stone bridges, making it a naturally defensible location. On September 15th, two days before the battle, Lee positioned his men behind the creek and waited. On the afternoon of September 16th, Union General George B. McClellan sets his army in motion. The following morning, McClellan attacks. A total of 132,000 troops were engaged in the battle on the 17th. The battle began at dawn. Attacks sweep back and forth across Miller's Cornfield and the West Woods. Lieutenant General Stonewall Jackson's forces hold their ground near the Dunker Church. Union assaults against the sunken road succeed at first, but they end up abandoning their position. In the afternoon, during the final major assault, Major General Ambrose E. Burnside's IX Corps pushes over the stone bridge known as Rohrbach or Lower Bridge, now the Burnside Bridge. Just before they are overtaken, Major General A. P. Hill's division arrives after a long march from Harper's Ferry and saves the day for the Army of Northern Virginia. The battle gave President Lincoln the confidence to issue the preliminary Emancipation Proclamation at a moment of strength for the North. After the battle, the famed angel of the battlefield, Clara Barton, arrived with much-needed medical supplies. The Union lost approximately 12,400 men to the Confederates' 10,700, but the Union drove the Confederates out and General Robert E. Lee's army headed back to Virginia. President Lincoln demoted General McClellan after the Battle of Antietam, angered because he had not pursued General Lee to Virginia. While many feel this was a Union victory, others declare it to have been inconclusive. The Antietam National Cemetery is the final resting place of 4,776 Union soldiers killed in the battles of Antietam, South Mountain, Monocacy, and other actions in Maryland. Only 38% of the burials are known. For three hours on September 17, 1862, 500 Georgia soldiers held off repeated attacks by Union soldiers while holding the high ground at what is now known as Burnside Bridge, the southernmost of three bridges. While the Southerners eventually had to retreat, they had forced the Union soldiers back to Sharpsburg and the delay gave General Hill's troops time to arrive from Harper's Ferry. Formerly known as the Roarback or Lower Bridge, it was built in 1836 to connect Sharpsburg with Roarsville, the next town to the south. It was actively used for traffic until 1966 when a bypass enabled the bridge to be restored to its 1862 appearance. The wooden headboards of the nine graves in the image were for soldiers in the 51st New York, who, along with the 51st Pennsylvania and other units, stormed the bridge and finally chased the rebels from their perch across Antietam Creek. William Frazanito, in his 1978 book, Antietam, The Photographic Legacy of America's Bloodiest Day, worked very hard to identify the soldiers buried here. He was able to decipher the names on four of the headstones. The graves in the photographs were moved long ago, some to the National Cemetery while others went home to their families. The bridge has been painstakingly restored to resemble its 1862 countenance and placards dot the landscape, telling the tale of that terrible day 
when brother fought brother and friend fought friend over Antietam Creek. This is a serene place now. The water flows under the bridge, and on the day we visited, the breeze wafted through the old trees that have stood since that time, bearing witness they cannot share. I did run a brief ghost box session while sitting next to the creek. Here is that session. Massachusetts. back home after? Who was your commander?
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and leave me a comment. Please consider subscribing so you know when I upload next. And thank you.